Texaco and, and New Jersey Sink Company divide, di, dissolved. But if Daddy didn't realize it, they didn't pay all that much money. But some uh, Western movie tycoon bought that New Jersey Sink and they made a lot, lot, lot more money than Daddy made after he left there. Because uh, uh, June and that little boy that you ran around with, she said, she told me that that, that um, it was a Western movie place that bought that. And she said they made good money after New Jersey Sink sold it out. Real good money. But, but we were only 75 miles from New York. And y'all went to uh, Canada while I worked. You, Daddy, and the three kids. But I, I enjoyed uh, Gilman. It was, a, it was a nice place. You know, it was, it was a real nice place. It was, it was about two hours from Denver. It, it was, they had a bowling alley and all that stuff. <coughs> Those two and a half years I lived there, I liked it. And I think you did. Except you quit playing the piano because the Mexicans teased you about girls playing the piano. You remember that? Mm-mm. Yeah. You, got, you had a piano teacher, but the girls of uh, the... Mexican boys t teased you about girls played the piano and you quit. And we held that piano to Pennsylvania and then Daddy sold it. He didn't like it because his mother was a, a, a... She taught herself how to play the piano. She could play the piano by ear. And I guess it brought back Daddy's memories or something. And he sold that thing. But I bought it for you when you were living in Grand Junction and took lessons for like two or three years there. And you pr you'd practice. You'd practice the piano. You, which I tried to get Marie to play the piano. She played it two months and quit. She wasn't interested in it. She didn't like it, but you kept on. You liked Grand Junction because you liked the uh, Halloween. You went Halloween and stuff. And I thought you were with some older kids and you came home by yourself. <laughs> Big old bag of candy. <laughs> Biggest bag I'd ever seen. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I mean, it was a big bag. <laughs> You're supposed to be with somebody, but I guess you took off by yourself. <laughs> well, you was always advanced for your age anyway. But but I thought Gilman and, and, and <coughs> Bell and, and, <coughs> and Bell was a real nice place. I mean, I mean, I'm glad we moved and lived in those different places. Fry Canyon was an interesting place, but I, I don't think I stayed there but about a year. I think he moved, he moved me back to, to Grand Junction because he worked out of town. He worked there three or four more years and then he worked like he'd go traveling to different uh, states trying to buy, trying to sell ore or look for ore or something, you know. Uh -huh. So actually, we didn't see him, but once or twice a month, some, one time it was 26 days, we didn't see, see him because he was riding, running all over town. And because it, it, cause it was real hard when he came back because he didn't know how to discipline the kids. He, 
I mean, he just, he just, just thought it wasn't his place or something. You know, you know, usually, usually mothers and fathers band together, but he wasn't like that. He didn't band together. I say, it was, well, what do you think about this? Well, that's your decision. That's between you and them. He never 